Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Boss Rush Podcast, a great place to play games and be better. I'm one of your hosts, Corey Deering, and alongside me, as always, is the PC Muscle Race, Laron Dawkins. What's poppin'? The wise Wisconsinite, Mr. Jesse Douglas. How's it going, everyone? And joining us tonight from PlayStation's Crossroads Podcast, the uh, hmm, the 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 Vita, the Vita Warrior himself, the Vita De Mayo, right. <laughs> the, 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 the life the. The Vita. life warrior? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There you go. <laughs> I stay strapped with the Vita, a hundred percent. Just, just, Campbell. just go to the social the gal- media. You'll, you'll understand. Go to, go to the social gal- media. <laughs> got the gal gun panties holstered up, ready to go. Now, are you wearing those right now, or do you just have them in your pocket in case you need a quick sniff? Uh, you know, I, I, I keep them by my bed. In the drawer, right with Vita at all times. It's mm. like it's ready to go. You know, it's it's the the Vita, the gal gum panties, and the lotion all right there. It's just nice, one neat. Not a lotion guy. Not a lotion guy. I like it. Uh, I like you know, just like every other. It's hard being a Vita fan, so it's rough. So, yeah, I like to use no lotion just to, just to mimic it. Do you raw dog into this stuff? I mean, that's just dangerous. You got to think about potential skin cancer issues. Ooh, Logan. I use moisture. I'm, I mean, I use Germex on my hands. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Joining, also joining us is uh, Justin Bieber's <laughs> illegitimate adopted. You can't even say that anymore. Love, I don't have the hair. Love cousin. I don't have the hair. You do. He cut his hair. You just you just saw him in a magazine. No, he's he's hair. got long hair. He wears a beanie now. I don't. I do have a beanie. It's Ooh. it's Lamb I'm not party. wearing. It's Land Party, the musical, the series, the musical. Yeah, exactly. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I can live with that. Logan Juan has got it. Logan, where's Land Party, the the musical, the series? <laughs> so we're writing it. Land Party, uh, the musical, the musical, the series. And by we, he means himself and only himself. <laughs> yeah, in my closet. <laughs> Is where I write that one. Can, um, can Logan, uh, Logan is this going to be scene. like a? Is this going to be like one of those musicals where you play every single part? I do, I do, I do, and it's amazing because Austin and Nick have a love scene, and I can't figure out how to choreograph it the right way. I got way. it, Logan. I got it. <laughs> Sock puppets. I could do that. I could do that, and then they could like. But is that too far? <laughs> I mean, you, wow. <laughs> Austin, you might Austin, you might want to I just talk don't to know if you, you might want to get your with. hand out of the sock after you're done with it. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, is it, it it's going to be like a crusty crab, man. I mean, that's essentially oh, what it's oh, going to be. Oh, 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 see, oh, there are oh, much oh, more reference oh, that you guys my, would love. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even know what. No, that's not a SpongeBob reference that I love. That, that, is, was not not a, that is not a SpongeBob <laughs> reference at all. No. Oh, we would. Boy. We wish that it were, but it isn't. Krusty, listen, Mr. Krabs was a great dad, okay? He does not deserve that slander on Father's Day. He <laughs> took care of a whale, for crying out loud. Hmm. Hmm. Is, is that what we call Patrick? I mean, is I, no, uh, I don't know. No, get out of here, you that. uncultured swine. Get out of here. <laughs> All I know is about Bubble Buddy. That's it, man. I mean, look, he asked me anything about iCarly, Zach and Cody. That's what I was watching. Mm. Still iCarly. Right. I, yeah, I yeah, still, still watch iCarly, like apparently. <laughs> still loving it. Poor, Fre- poor, Fre- poor Freddy. He went through two divorces, man. Well, did you consider- see that there that that show's oh, coming back? Spoiler. It's, it's already back. It's, it's already it's already back. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, first three episodes are out. It's it, it's pretty good. Hmm. It might be a review in Boston Entertainment, like here in like three weeks. Oh God. So, <laughs> hi guys. Is Hello. anybody? Is any? Can I? So last weekend was E three, obviously, and we're going to talk about some stuff that we really enjoyed from E three. Oh wait, wait, wait! Before wait, before we get to that, hey, uh, hey, Corey, huh? Hey, Jesse, happy Father's Day! Oh, thanks, oh, yeah. thanks, Laron. Yeah. Austin, happy dog Father's Day. Yep, doggy oh, daddy oh, yeah. day. Like I hate, I hate it so much. <laughs> I hate, like, I hate welcome, that he buddy. called me that because I, I am a, uh, I, I hate it when people are like, oh yeah, my dog is just like it, a kid. I'm like, it, no, no, it's, it's not. It's gonna get a lot <laughs> weirder. Not. Trust me, the first draft of that tweet was a lot weirder. I'm sure it was. I'm sure the first that's five why drafts of that tweet totally were a lot weirder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
So boys and girls, boys and girls, it goes deeper. Jeez. God, I don't want to hear those words anymore. It goes deeper. Uh. First. Anyways. Cut is the deep. Anybody, All right, E three, E three. Let's let's dive deeper into E three. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I think we already dove deep enough let's into E three last week. <laughs> and dive in. So <laughs> face first. If if anybody missed our coverage, let's go go check out uh, BossRushGames.com. Uh, we did a whole huge thing for E three. Over a hundred and twenty. Uh, articles from our writing team, over 50 videos from our live team. It was a long weekend, guys, but we did it. We made it through. We're here. We did it. How does everybody feel? Everybody feel Good. about E3? I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, me and me and Ed, like our our episode of Arsenal X. Uh, after that comes out after this, we we had you know Xbox had a whole bunch of stuff like all week, so we we had to f- we finally finished technically Xbox's E3. Oh yeah, they had the Hellblade thing. They had the Halo yeah. multiplayer stuff. They had the extended. Yeah, mm. they had a lot of stuff. Then. Yeah, I should just yeah, I should just broken in two parts. Yeah, yeah. I uh, yeah, I I missed that episode because uh. There's been some things going on, and we had the kids and uh, my nephews yeah. and stuff, and it was just like, uh, I am very excited for Xbox. Mm-hmm. I think Game Pass is undeniably a great value. I am excited Absolutely for not. Nintendo's first party, uh, but overall, I feel like a lot of the stuff was a little lackluster for me. Otherwise, um, so. I think people are giving Ubisoft a lot less credit than they deserve. I thought Ubisoft had a really good showing. Um, I think they had a good showing. I just we knew yeah. everything, especially because Mario Rabbids leaked earlier that day from Nintendo. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Mario Rabbids. My one thing there that I've been kind of mad about for the last like week or so is that we didn't get anything on Beyond Good and Evil Two or Skull and Bones. And were you expecting? I was expecting. I was expecting Beyond expecting Good and Evil. Skull- I wasn't necessarily expecting Beyond Good and Evil. I was expecting Skull and Bones because they have the date slated for June of next year, which I here's, assume it's probably going to get bumped again. Here's 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 the secret. Like what we saw a couple of years ago for Beyond Good and Evil, that's all they've ever had. That's all they've ever had. Yeah. I mean, at this point, like, does it become a movie? Because you could do that. It's. I bet. I, I bet like... they were working on that, and. I don't know. I feel like this Avatar thing they got sucked into, like, which I don't care about the Avatar movie, but this game could pro- potentially be really awesome. Uh, yeah. and, then, and then they announced that uh, open world Star Wars game that the Division team is working on. So I don't know. I wonder if that team is starting to move into other things because, yeah. uh, well, and Michelle Ansel left, right? So. Yeah. And that was kind of his baby, so... I mean, Rough Riders had a good showing. I mean, it had a really good showing. I was really impressed with everything that they showcased there, and that release date was you gotta right. You stop calling it Rough Riders. Oh, I know. God. Riders. I was like, oh, what? Rough Sorry. Riders? Rough Riders was the working title, and then... Yeah. <laughs> so Riders Republic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Riders Republic. It's okay. We forgive you. I was gonna say... Uh, DMX, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> you ever seen that Loader Kenny clip of uh, no. that bark bark is the best thing you can do after a rap and they try all the different animal noises <laughs> to try to get it? I don't, I don't know what Loader Kenny is, so you don't know what it's funny a is. Canadian show, you're not missing anything. It doesn't. If I if I haven't heard of it, I haven't been missing it. So <laughs> Logan probably looks like he belongs on that show. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, Justin Bieber's uncle now. Yeah. With the, with the shaved hair. Wait a second. Uncle, cousin, brother. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm scanning something in YouTube right now, and it's saying Chadwick Boseman auditioned for Drax at one point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not know this. Yeah. It's only Shark Man. Yeah. So, uh, we'll Sebastian, place, S- Sebastian Stan auditioned for Captain America at one point and Star Lord. Yeah, yeah, I know, I knew that. 
I knew yeah. that. Loki originally, or uh, Tom Hilson originally uh, interviewed for Thor. Yeah. So, which I'm glad he's playing Loki because uh, he's good at it. Yeah. The yeah, show yeah, is yeah. phenomenal. I, I haven't started it yet. There's no way I could see him as Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Which is be awkward to me. Yeah, uh, he's too s- small, right? Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, know, I know, like, he could probably get bigger if he worked out, but he's yeah. Small. I mean, I mean, I, I, I feel like I feel like I feel like Hemsworth is 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 meathead enough to be Thor. <laughs> yeah. So. Even though technically he was a skinny, gangly dude when he first hit the scene, too. Right. As uh, in Star Trek, I think it was like the first thing I ever saw him in. I mean, I'm sure he was uh, he in other was, things too. Well, he wasn't that skinny. He wasn't that skinny. He looked like he was eating a bunch of uh, Hawaiian rolls in that movie. I mean, can you deny a good Hawaiian roll though? Put some lather. Uh, I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't deny it. You know, and and I understand in Hollywood, you know, like that. Uh, like that. That 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 food and refreshment cart be is strong oh, with that oh, stuff. Yeah. Mm. And that Hawaiian <laughs> the way, roll, uh, hot dog buns. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. You put a spicy bratwurst in there, oh, and some mm. spicy brown on a Hawaiian mm. roll. Mm. Mm. You're speaking my love language. Speaking of food, did you see what The Rock yeah. posted for his final three weeks of Shazam shooting? Yeah. I'm like, Freaking, mm. how are you eating that? I mean, it's not good. I used to do that like a long time ago when I cared about what I looked like. I mean, like, I eat rice cakes like five times a week now, and I mean, that's rough, but. It's not that bad. Like, mm. Mm. well, speaking of food, guys, we have a we have a good old Greg Osterman the third question. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh boy, he says, he says, Greg, man. he says, he says, he says, hey dudes, I just want to say what a killer job you all did for E three this year. Loved everything you guys did, especially the pods. Got me through a huge week at work. Kudos to whoever edits your shows because the YouTube clips were lit too. Wouldn't call them lit, but uh, it's fine. It's cool. <laughs> now for my question, entirely unrelated. What is your favorite chain sit-down restaurant, and what do you get? <laughs> Let me go first. Great, you get to go first, Ron. Congratulations. Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> mm. oh, you Texas get them Roadhouse. rattlesnake bites. You get them rattlesnake bites, and the every. Every so often I get the rouse snake bites, but I'm almost always Ooh, guaranteed. I'm almost always, hey, 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 they don't, hey, they will run you out of the restaurant if you call it that. <laughs> what is it? Hey. Awesome Blossom? Yeah. Uh, yes. Blooming yeah. Onion? Yeah. yeah. Blooming Onion's yeah. out back. Yeah, but um, I'm almost always guaranteed to get a ribeye, um, and I stepped up my game because I get I get the bone in ribeye rib now, you know? Ooh. Um, mm. Yeah, and an uh, and, al- and always and always got to get like four servings of the rolls. Mm. So there you go. I, I made a, I, I made it easy. I always get a full rack of uh, of ribs. Mm. I take half home for later. <laughs> I eat half. <laughs> wow. Their ribs, their ribs are pretty good. I will yeah. say that. Like, oh, uh, yeah. like honestly, there's not much at, at out on the Roadhouse menu that I have. I've been like, nah, I'm not getting that again. It, it hasn't been much. <laughs> Uh, who else has one? Who else got one? I do. Um, I like chilies. Yes. Okay. I enjoy chilies. good chili. I got the uh, tonight. We actually went to chilies tonight, and we got the southwestern egg rolls. And I got myself. Uh, oh, yes. I got myself that chipotle lime chicken bowl. Mm. And it was uh, mm. how do you say delicious? It was awesome. Yeah. I actually, we I actually got that, that last like, time I went to Chili's. Is one of the worst places. <laughs> What'd you say, Austin? I've never been to a Friday's, actually. Oh. Oh, I got the uh, okay. Chipotle chicken bowl uh, last time I went to Chili's. I actually got it the last time I went there. It was good. But I've, I've never been to a TGI Friday's, ever. <laughs> You're not well, I've only on seen Fridays. one. <laughs> well, see, this is, this is why I don't like them. Every time that I've gone... I found like one thing that really, really w- sounded good to me, and then the next time I go back, that thing would be gone. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. so like they yeah. they just always change their their menu, and it gets it it's kind of annoying. Yeah, they I so, think they ro- I think they rotate like their their special items every three weeks at that place. Yeah, well, like so yeah, there was like it just like they made it seem though like 
But I did go. I did have the uh, like their impossible burger or whatever they had, and, and that was pretty good. Um, when they were doing that, I don't know if they still do, but yeah, I just I don't know. I I hate when places change their menu like like all the time like that. It's it's just kind of irritating, especially if there already wasn't something you know a whole lot for you to pick from that you that you were interested in, but. For me, uh, for me, honestly, it's Red Robin. Like I just Ooh, love yeah, Red I Robin. Forgot about Red Robin. I like, went there last night, actually. Red mm, Robin, uh, bottomless fries, man. You get there. You got it. Yep. You get there. Whatever. I don't know what they do. I don't know if they like make love to their Lowry seasoning or whatever. But it's like way better. Yeah. It's, oh just, yeah. <laughs> well, the, like their seasoning is really good, but I actually like their um their Parmesan the Parmesan garlic fries. Uh, oh um, yeah, th- those are like those are really good, and, and those are bottomless too. Like it costs mm-hmm. like a like a dollar something extra, but you get bottomless. So it's like okay, well a dollar or something extra that's worth it because yeah. they're so yeah. they're so good. Yeah, but you yeah, pay, like that's for me. Or you get bottomless onion rings, and it's yeah, <laughs> it's great. Where? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, that's at Red Robin. That's yeah, a Red you, Robin. You, you bottomless onion rings. No. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Date night I'm next sure. weekend. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not, I, I I'm not sure how they're staying profitable with bombless onion rings. Dude, man. the what onion rings are so man. good with that. Whatever you dip them in, the yellow, the orange that campfire sauce. Mayo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's good. Oh. Yep. Oh my gosh, I would weigh 400 pounds if I got bottomless onion rings. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I, I well, for uh, me, I I, I hate to break their... it to you, but for a dollar, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Yeah, I I always get their Royal Red Robin. I just love I just love a really good burger with a with an egg on it. Mm. So good. Mm-hmm. I always get the uh, Calif- California chicken burger, which is like the is one. That, it's, really it's just um, it's that, the one with the avocado on it. But I I say no avocado because I'm not. A is hippie. it on? Is it on sourdough or is it? No, it's just on regular no. oh. bun. Oh, okay. I'm the I'm the, I'm the I'm the, uh, the 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 black and blue burger California. every time I go there. Mm. It's that California Gor- melt is what uh, I was thinking. Of. It's that Gorgonzola she, cheese uh, that. Mm. <laughs> uh, not into it. Not mm-hmm. into the blue cheese. Not into Gorgonzola. Not into. My cheese needs to be solid and not chunky. I have no, I have no problem with chunky cheese. I have no problem. With it. <laughs> it needs to be solid or straight up liquid. <laughs> mm. Hey, some, hey, uh, some, some blue cheese is liquid. It's true. <laughs> mm. Yeah, in the dressing. Oh. <laughs> some, somewhere in between. Hold on, somewhere in between, we were talking about bottomless onion rings and blue cheese. Jesse's hair switched sides. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> It's throwing me off. I don't. Over anytime you want. You know, Jesse, just because you have a Think nice full side. head of hair doesn't mean you can, you know, just switch sides like that. Okay. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh I was man. gonna. I was gonna put it into a full on mohawk. I got some. Uh, I got some. Please do that for next week's show, yeah. Jesse. Mocha de gorilla, gorilla snot gel. Oh, that sounds. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like that sounds like something you're supposed to be putting in your hair. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. I. Uh... What? Oh, I, I was gonna say my my restaurant's kind of like Jesse's, only. So Cheddar's used to be my favorite, uh, mm-hmm. and yeah. I didn't know it was really it was a chain until I started going to different places. I'm like, oh, Cheddar's is everywhere. I've <laughs> never, yeah. I've never uh, even heard of Cheddar's. What is oh, it? Oh, dude, it's so uh, good. Made from scratch. They food. have it. I know they have it in Texas, and I know they have it in Missouri, and I know they have it in Florida. So mm. I know it's other places, but Kansas, they got Iowa, rid Nebraska. of their onion rings. Um, they got rid of their onion rings, and they were the best onion. Anyway. They were this huge tower too, dude. They were so good. Yeah. Mm. They got rid of the potato soup. They got rid of uh, some of the ribs. I was just like, oh. they got rid of all the favorite things that I would eat there. So now I like salt grass, which is a steakhouse. Uh, it's the best. It, it's it's better than any steakhouse to me at this point. Like I, it is so good. Hmm. Nice. I need to. I guess I'll have to try that at some point. 
I'm in Florida enough. I'll, if, I'll find one. Like, when you when they uh, bring a saltgrass steak to you, uh, they 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 do a giant blob of butter on there, and like it's just it's just like thank you for this. <laughs> just thank you for this. <laughs> so it's full polyene style. Okay. <laughs> wow. it, it is worth. It. <laughs> Despite all the racism for Paula Deed. <laughs> God. One of God's colors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, she's just... Mm. God, I don't even know where to go from there. Uh, anyone else have a, have a chain restaurant they want to talk about? Have a, have a delightful experience? Mm. I used to work at one. Mm. Glad I don't work there anymore. We'll just... Let's put it that way. Rest, rest in peace, Dad. <laughs> rest in peace, to Applebee's. I don't know mm. if they're still there. They're, they got rid of the one thing that I like there. Mm. There's one by my house. Rest in peace, Vinnigan's, By the way. Mm. Yeah, per- Perkins. I I don't mind Perkins just because I like the uh, the um. They have like at night you get the half price appetizers, mm. <laughs> like mm. at, like at a certain time period late at night, mm. right. and uh, and I always I love their their bakery stuff. It's so good, mm. especially the peanut butter silk pie. Oh, Ooh, sounds oh good. My God. You said peanut butter. So I'm good. out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> uh, all right. Well, thank you, Greg, as always for your wonderful question uh always makes me hungry after we talk about that actually (laughs) especially because we ate dinner early tonight so anyways we we ate it what do we when we we ate like 4 30 tonight because we went over to my mom's for brunch yeah we went over to my mom's for breakfast and we ate at like 10 and then we didn't eat lunch but then we got hungry for dinner at like 4 30 so we ate then uh, we oh, dude, I just I just realized I haven't even eaten today. Dang. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, whose fault's that? Completely. By the way, Logan, like, your your set is falling down behind you. Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. No, like I made lunch for my dad and my and my family, but I was like, this is it's just too much fat. Like if I eat it right now, my stomach will explode. So I'm like, eh, I won't eat any of that. Yeah, I haven't eaten anything today. That's dangerous. Mm, it we is. Had a, we had a taco bar today. Mm. <laughs> I enjoy a good taco bar. Speaking of taco bars, this is the Boss Rush Podcast, the flagship show of the Boss Rush Network, where each and every week we get together with our friends from around the internet to talk about video games and everything we love about them. You can catch the show live on twitch.tv slash Boss Rush Games Live on Sunday nights or on Mondays on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and other podcast apps, as well as YouTube and our website. Please leave us a five-star review and a nice comment. It really helps us grow. You can email the show at bossrushnetwork at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at Boss Rush Network. Join our Discord, our Facebook group, and all of our other communities to be to be awesome like us. You can find all of our content on bossrushnetwork.com, bossrushgames.com, and uh, check out Boss Rush Entertainment's thing of what do you call it? Slate of shows. I was looking for the right word. Yeah, that works. That works. Yeah. Bonanza. Bonanza of shows. Hey, follow us on Twitter now. We have a new Twitter account. No, don't follow them. It's just really, I don't know. No, follow them. Boss Rush ENT. Yep. And then uh, now available on Spotify too. So like you, you still get the normal show feeds on Spotify, but if you just want everything in one central location, just type in Boss Rush Entertainment. I'm thinking or about, just type in Boss Rush. I'm thinking about doing that as well on like a paid feed, not just like an anchor feed. You know what I mean? Like a SoundCloud feed or something. But I mean, we do both. Like, so we I, have the I, SoundCloud. Yeah, I know you do both. I'm just saying, like, I wonder if that would be worth doing, investing in. Give Let it, us know. Give, give, give people content for free, man. I, like, especially shows, the ones you got to put a paywall on. No, I'm saying for <laughs> us to invest in a oh. pay. If they're still oh, free okay. for people. Like the pro account for SoundCloud. Yes. Okay, that's okay. My bad. I'm not an animal. Yeah, no, I, I, I pay for it. It's awesome. <laughs> totally works. It's awesome. I mean, I do. And I would like to wipe too. my butt with some Jacksons someday, but you know, <laughs> like I do love the fact that like SoundCloud lets me have like three years worth of content on there at once without you know overloading. Yeah. So. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Anyways, now I got the Bonanza theme song stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Anyways, I don't want to get a copyright strike since, you know, the day before E3 starts, they sent out this nice letter and said we couldn't co-stream, so it ruined all my plans. Jerks. Okay, this is... Xboxes you could, technically. Side side tangent. Side tangent. (laughs) I'm looking at the Skype call right now, right, and everybody looks normal, but since Mm -hmm. I have the Google Docs as, like, my primary window, the little Skype window pops up right under my camera, and it's just Logan making this disgruntled, disappointing face, and it feels like he's just <laughs> peering into my soul about my life. I mean, that's choices. just like all my expressions, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna. I know we did a whole bunch of E3 coverage. If you want to hear a full breakdown of all of it, check out our Boss Rush at Night content. It's all up on the Boss Rush podcast feed on our YouTube channel. Uh, the proper what do you say shows and stuff will be going up on other feeds this week as well so the xbox show will be going up on the xbox feed etc 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 but what we're going to do here in case you don't care about 12 hours of podcast content we're going to bring you our top three favorite things of the show with a slew of honorable mentions so hope everybody brought your list Everybody, everybody brought their list. Mine was easy. So what we're gonna, <laughs> what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go round robin here. We're gonna, we're gonna kind of do like a rapid fire of our, our honorable mentions, and then we'll do, you know, three, 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 two, 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 one, 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 that way. So, mm-hmm. you know what, Austin, we're gonna start with you, with your All honorable right. mentions. <laughs> My, my honorable mentions. Okay, so I want to give an honorable mention to Far Cry 6 because this is a game that I'm really, really excited about, but I refuse to watch any of the E3 stuff on it because I'm now <laughs> in dark mode. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see any of it. I just want to play it. Uh, I did see pictures of Giancarlo Esposito, and I'm super excited. And that I, slick white ooh. suit. Mm. Ah, yes. I cannot wait. It's like... To me, I, I like to picture that it's part of the Breaking Bad universe, even though I know it's not. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm already like, <laughs> picturing it in my head. But uh, I definitely want to give a shout-out to Far Cry 6. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to finally Ding and Bravo being on uh, Switch so people can play it on the Switch play all three games. Uh, plus, they're getting a little bit of a bonus with like uh, an upgraded to the board game mode that they had in the second game. Uh, which I will probably I will probably buy it just so I can play more of it. Um, and then uh, I, you know, just give a shout out to Xbox because they. I now have to tell my wife that I'm also have to buy a new Xbox by <laughs> November of next year. As long as they have it by then, that's all that matters. <laughs> they did have Hopefully. an impressive show. <clears throat> Even if you don't really care about Xbox that much, you can't tell me yeah. that they didn't have some sort of cool. Ex- uh... I, oh, I, I will say Starfield is honorable mention as well because we didn't get to see it as much. If we would have saw gameplay, it would probably been my number one though. 100%. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. It's insane that 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 teaser trailer has got like 8.1 million views. Oh yeah, like alone. I just not even I le- not even so a quarter bad. of that many people watched the the E3 Xbox mm-hmm. Bethesda E3 even. It's just so many people have watched that teaser trailer. It's insane. Yeah, it's uh, I don't I don't get it. But I have a year and a half to figure it out, I guess. So, well, I there's just one thing I wanted to touch on. Like, there's a game, and I all I cannot remember. I've been trying to f- find out what game it was, but there's this like uh, game that I play that's just just a small indie game, and like oh. everyone there was there was talk about every single button on your dashboard in that that spaceship is going to actually do something. Are you talking about Elite and, Dangerous? <clears throat> no, about no, no. This there's a game I played though where it was like that where you had 
you were in a spaceship and in order to take off, you actually had to do a whole bunch of things, just like a checklist of mm. things that sounds... before the spaceship would take off. And people are thinking that that might be something that you might have to do, like more like flight semi kind of thing. Mm. Is that the Star Trek uh, command game? The VR no, one? It, Is that the one? No, it was just some indie like uh, like. Kerbal Space Something Program. Mars, or yeah. I don't remember what it was. It was <laughs> yeah, Kerbal. It's NASA. the NASA simulator. <laughs> just, yeah. I would play that. Uh-huh. Uh, all right, is is that all you had, Awesome? Oh. Your yeah, those those are my honorable mentions. All right, I, I'll give you three because I'll go all day. <laughs> Logan, what are your honorable mentions of the show? So, War for Wakanda, the DLC coming to Avengers. I thought it was a, a little bit better showing than I thought they would have for it. This this is a DLC that needs to revive this game because right now it's the concurrent players is the lowest it's been to, uh, so far. To uh, sorry, just to play off of that, like yeah. de- I, for fans of Destiny, they will. This is this has to be their taking king moment. Exactly. This uh, has to be the big one. You have to get players back in, and you have to hook them, and it, you can't keep the repetitiveness going. Like, make it a little bit easier to get cool gear. I thought they were uh, making it harder. One. I think they, I think they are, but you know, from a fan's perspective, make it easier. Make it easier, please. Thank you. Uh, number two, Shredders, which was in the Xbox showcase. Um, Josh Finney and I have talked a lot about this game because. I didn't know what to think of it because I thought it was a little bit weird timing with Riders Republic coming by Ubisoft and then Xbox saying, hey, three months later, here's this game. But knowing who is on the development team and the different projects that they were on because they were on SSX and they've also worked on the Sean White snowboarding games, like this is going to be a true extreme sports winner game. Mm-hmm. Can't wait for it. And Moto X finally being in a game. That's something we haven't seen yet. One of their uh, can be pretty dope. One of their uh, one of their producers also worked on Amped, the Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The first and, two, and, yeah, and it was a great so. series. If you didn't catch the uh, the the Xbox Showcase Extended, they actually uh, did a really good deep dive on that game as well with the the developers. Yeah, that, that oh, was a really cool that. part. Got a yeah. special shout out from Phil Spencer himself. Says he's really excited. Nice. I'm also pumped that it's going to be Game Pass. That way, I don't have to pay sixty bucks for it. Yeah, um, <laughs> seventy probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, realistically, yeah, realistically. Uh, something like that. Um, and then the third one, man, I want to, what do I want to shout out here? Be <laughs> Breath of the Wild too. Uh, because hey, look, it, it actually, it actually did get my attention. I was, I was pleasantly yeah. surprised by the Nintendo. I so I was in the writers' room for the Nintendo press conference. I don't know that I should have been, but I was, and uh, I heard Ed scream so many times that like, whew, it was a lot. But I loved it. It was, it was really cool to see that excitement um, on that end. But it wasn't just that; it was everybody too. But yeah, Breath of the Wild too. Like as much as I give the first one a lot of crap, um, because I, I just don't get it. I, I, I've, I've played the game. I don't understand it. It's not for me. But the second one does look cool, um, and I am really excited to see what they do with it. I'm excited to see the return of dungeons. We had a we had a big uh, theory on what dungeons could possibly do in terms yeah. of, of yeah. weapons and stuff. Uh, what we were kind of talking about, which uh, I guess I guess we could just get into it when I talk about it, but uh, unbreakable weapons. We've been talking about how dungeons might give you unbreakable versions of weapons that you need. That'd be cool. So, like, technically, well, you don't have to do them, but if you want that unbreakable or that master sword style weapon that, mm-hmm. like, maybe has a cooldown timer after you use all of its magic or whatever, uh, that's what the dungeons mm-hmm. will provide for you. So, yeah, I had that as my number three. Yeah. It's, um, it's my yeah, number I, one. Well, and I like the whole, like, reversing, reversing time stuff and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. a lot of, uh, a lot of Skyward Sword elements in it. A lot of Ocarina elements in it. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of Twilight Princess in there. Has me very excited for the games of the series that I do like. Right. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did just I did just buy a Switch Lite, so like this will be a game that I play, and I will we'll try to give it as fair of a chance as I can. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, speaking of, side tangent. Side tangent. I also. Hold on. <laughs> Reaching into my magic bag here. I also 
Uh, yeah, we got we got the same one, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, just because uh, when I have my real one in handheld mode, it sounds like uh, it might blow up. <laughs> so I'm like, since the Switch Pro wasn't announced, I guess I'll get one now, for a handheld. Que question, guys. How, <clears throat> how hot does that thing get, the, the light? I don't know. I haven't used it yet. I, I, mean, uh, I haven't had any issues with mine yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. It, honestly, okay, so Laron, the closest thing I can compare it to, like weight and heat wise, is the Vita. Yeah. Like the, I would say the 2.0 Vita, not the OLED heavy yeah. one. Yeah, that, that, that's completely fair. Mm -hmm. oh, it's okay. really yeah, it's nice. Deep. It feels like a, <laughs> feels like if someone uh, injected some performance enhancing drugs into a Game Boy Advance. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Barry Bonds of consoles. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jesse, what were your three honorable mentions for the... My three... Well, one of them wasn't technically a game, but I like like we found out uh, during the extended thing for Xbox that that uh, you'll be able to play Game Pass um, games, and they're going to upgrade it to... Uh, to the Series X hardware for Game Pass games, oh, and yeah. you'll be able to stream them off of your Xbox One. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, you won't cool. even need an Xbox, a new Xbox. Yeah, you know if you don't want it. Yeah, so everybody doesn't know the uh, the cloud streaming stuff is uh, they're based on Xbox One S versions mm -hmm. of games right now. Uh, so you're getting like 900p, you know, 30 frames a second on most things. Uh, mm -hmm. But starting this fall, they're upgrading those blades to Xbox Series X versions. So you'll be streaming, uh, you know, theoretically you'll be streaming <laughs> up to 4K and 60 frames depending on your internet. So it's cool. I'm That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Especially because uh, Game Pass is coming to smart TVs as well. And, yeah. Uh, man, that's going to be nice in the bedroom if I just want to, like, play some Psychonauts one night. I'll be like, oh, cool. Well, take just, my controller you know, in there. Just, just the fact that you know like you can use a straight up you know LAN connection and not have to you know like yeah worry about dealing with wi-fi and all that stuff like that's going to make it significant difference you know like yeah on on the on the connections and all that but yeah. so yeah that was that was one of my honorable mentions and then uh stalker too like I'm I'm hoping that this does like gives me kind of what I want. Like I really really liked the last Metro game, but there was just something about it that didn't quite hook me that a whole lot. And if you don't know, like um, some of the ex developers of that game are working on Stalker Two, and that's why it looks so much like Metro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um and th I don't know this like it just it just seems really cool like I like how you can like in the middle of stuff you got that like plus sign thing that comes up of all your attachments and you can like on the fly you can switch everything up and and uh, and I I don't know the story and everything is kind of interesting to me like I'm just really intrigued uh, with this game I don't really know what to think quite yet. But it's it's got me pretty interested in it, and I'm I'm just kind of really gonna start watching, watching you know as more stuff hopefully comes out about it and all that. Yeah. Um, and it will be you know like on Series X and and S and PC only, so it will be a next gen game. It will it won't yeah. like they I think they said straight up it's not gonna be able it won't be able to run on on the other consoles so. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, that game looked amazing. Like it l visually yeah. looks stunning. Yeah. yeah. So very yeah. stunning. Uh, yeah. Between that and then my next, uh, my next uh, game that I that I uh, want to give her an honor and mention to, only because there was so many good games that I lo loved this year. But Forza Horizon Five, like mm -hmm. that game too. Like that game just looks so amazing. Yeah, and like I'm so excited for it. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm yeah, ready. The new AI that they have for it, I can't wait to experience that and see how it works with the actual gameplay. I mean, it just looks yeah. insane. Yeah, 
Looks well, and it's so good. <laughs> Go ahead. That is low when they do the still shot of like the waterfalls and the mountains and stuff, and then they just zoom into the gameplay. I'm like, holy shit! I know, like they did that. Awesome. They did that. <laughs> they did that two separate times where they're like, yeah, and both times I was like, yeah, no way. I thought it was just like a, <laughs> every little thing on the cactus. Yeah. yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, they were talking about like the photogrammetry that they're using for this version for this version of the game, and I'm like, man. This is a nice still photo of backwoods Mexico or (laughs) whatever. And then you just see like these cars just flying over the water. I'm like, oh my God. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. The, the, and like I was talking with Ed uh, about this and I think we kind of talked about it on the, uh, on our, like our recap stuff. But like, you know, like the one of the big things that I remember being such a big deal about Grand Theft Auto Online is people being able to make like their own fun kind of racing games and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And and I'm I'm glad that they kind of brought something like that into this. And I really hope that once people get in there and start, you know, creating cool stuff, that they hopefully keep uh you know, updating and adding to that and listening to like feedback and stuff, because I, I think that could be a really, really cool feature of the game, like alone. Yeah. Like just stand alone, like the whole, the whole kind of just making fun things for you and your friends to do would be, I think will be awesome. So, yeah. Uh, Leron, what are your, what are your three honorable mentions here? All right. Uh, yeah. So uh, first off, I got to give I got to uh, honorable mention for me, but I got to give it up for Starfield. Uh, I'm, you know, even though it was a cinematic trailer and stuff like that, like I uh, like you guys in know engine. me. Like, huh? It was an engine. Yeah, it was an engine, but still like gameplay sells all the time. I don't care. Like if I don't care if like your cinematic stuff is in game, like you guys show me some gameplay because like if it looks beautiful but it plays like a potato guess what i'm not going to care about it <laughs> well it's going to so, it's uh, going to play like a bethesda game in space well yeah, maybe space we can, we, we can we can we can hope like they this might be the game they want to change the formula on so you know that's that's you think I, that, you think I, there's going to be a planet made out of a giant wheel of cheese <laughs> Was that was that something that happened in Skyrim? That happened one of the things. One of the things in Skyrim was uh, people would take all the wheels of cheese and pile them into one house. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've played a thousand hours of Skyrim. If it's Skyrim in space, I'm gonna play it. <laughs> I'm gonna put a thousand more hours into it. See, I'm, see I, I've, I've never been to Elder Scrolls and stuff like that, but you know, like it's got the sci-fi hook for me. So you know, like yeah. that'll that'll give me that'll give me interested enough. You know, well, let's put it this way: it's a it's a it's a Game Pass download for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, good thing, good thing uh, Game Pass exists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. True. Yeah. Um. Uh, my next. My next honorable mention is the Splinter Cell animated series. Yeah. I. I was. I was yanked out of left field on that one. I was yanked out of left field on that one. You know, like you know, I know everybody's complaining stuff like why. Why can't it just be a game? But you know what? Anything that keeps that universe going, I. I'm here for it. You know, and stuff like that. And, and you know, maybe that's. Maybe that's where it's going to thrive at for the for the time being. You know, until they figure out what they want to do if they want to bring it back to like gaming. And uh, and my number one honorable mention, and I'm actually gonna share the uh, I'm actually gonna share the trailer in the uh, Twitch chat for you guys. Uh, is uh, is this is this game on coming out on Steam called They Always Run? <laughs> that oh yes, that game yeah. looks awesome. That yeah. game looks that game looks sick. And you uh, you know if you if you love like the old school looking stuff like the 16 bit era days and all that stuff, you know like it and and it doesn't look like it's a rogue. But it looks like it has elements of being roguelike in it. But you know, like I, it just looks like a fun romp. Watch the trailer; like it's 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 crazy. It's it's cool. It's stylish and stuff like that. It's like it's like if Devil May Cry or Bayonetta was in two D. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it, looks, it gives me it. It looks like a Binding of Isaac, kind of. It gives me a Binding with of that, Isaac with feel that, with that with the with the, the artwork. 2D. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with or the style. Just like with, with the style. it being top down and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, so uh, those are those are my three: Starfield, Splinter Cell, the animated series on uh, Netflix, and then they always run on PC. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, they always run. Yeah, that game looked good. I 
yeah, there, God, I could have like a million other honorable mentions. I know. <laughs> yeah. I could too. Yeah. Got to oh, give yeah. a shout out to uh, uh, Maverick, Top Gun Maverick coming to uh, Flight, Flight Simulator. Simulator. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. Simulator. Yeah, that, that was yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to run through my honorable mentions real quick before we start our top three here. Uh, Tales of Arise it w- looked really good. Uh, first Tales game in a while action rpg this time uh it's got some fresh blood producing it so it's uh gonna be a change up for the series but i'm really really looking forward to it uh tales of symphonia is one of my favorite games of all time so uh mm-hmm. hellblade uh this was during the xbox extended uh thing it hmm. dude hellblade 2 is gonna be so good it's gonna be yeah. so good yeah Oh, like yeah. I said, I don't think it's coming out until 2023. Yeah, I don't either. I think it's going to be like a yeah. spring 2023 thing, uh, which is fine. Take all the time you yeah. need. Yeah, exactly. I want that combat to be flushed out. I want. I don't. I don't care if it's open world or a linear game like the last one. I just want it to be mm-hmm. really good. I want it to be the visual showpiece for the Xbox. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. just take your time. And we know we got games coming now. I mean, yeah. You know, like, yeah. and they haven't even showed everything yet. You know, like, there's stuff that they still have to talk about later on. You know, uh, you know, next year or whatever. Yeah. Um. So yeah, take. I'm. I'm. I feel the same way. Take your time. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And then uh, Mario plus Rabbids uh, two mm-hmm. looked really good. Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. yeah. I yeah. I can't wait for that. I debated whether or not to put that in my top three, but. Right now, it sits at number yeah, four. It is, it is teetering for me. I know. It's close. It, I, yeah. It, I'm just like. Yeah. I'm just really excited we're getting another one of those games. Uh, so it's there's a there's a theory going around right now that uh, they didn't show Rosalina in the trailer. They just showed Rabbit mm-hmm. Rosalina. Right now, there's a fan theory going around that whoever this main villain is has like mind control powers. And that mm-hmm. Rosalina is actually mm-hmm. one of the villains and bosses in the game. Mm-hmm. And then you unlock yep. it. That's like one of the theories going around. But anyways. It's side duck. Okay. <laughs> it's no. side duck. Side duck. <laughs> All right. We're going to get into our. As soon as he said that, as soon as he said that, I was like, say, yeah, yeah. Ay, We're going to get into our top three here. Austin, we're going to go your way first. What's your top Okay. What's your th- number three game of E3? My, my number three is Mario Party Superstar. <laughs> because I really cool. love Mario Party so much. And the fact that we're getting some N64 remasters of the games, the boards, the best boards were on the N64. It's very true. And the DS one. The DS is still my favorite Mario Party of all time. I stand by it. But I cannot wait. I'm so excited because not only will I play it, but my wife will actually play that one with me. So (laughs) I'll have someone to play with. I tried to get my wife into Mario Party. She wouldn't she wouldn't have it. She wasn't having it. I'm like, (laughs) come on. This is this is this is fun. She's like, no, it's not. And I'm like, oh, me, me, me and your wife will get along just great then. Mm. (laughs) Katie Katie likes it because she beats me at it. All the time, yeah. like all the time, she beats me at it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I like the, I love the uh, Mario Party game too. I'm, I'm excited for that one. I, I'm excited. Like you said, I'm excited they're going back to N64 stuff. Uh, yeah. God, so well, excited. and, and like I said, you know, like in the, our, in our chat, I'm glad that they're supporting the, the, the Switch Lite too because. Mm-hmm. You know, like that. That's the thing. Like that's the, the only bummer about the the most recent one is I don't think you can. Can you play that on the light even? Mm-hmm. You can no. if you put it in tabletop mm-hmm. mode, but you have to. Yeah. You have to connect Joy Cons to it, and it's not. That's not. Yeah. It's not not, the, the, not the way you want to play that game. No. So, so yeah. yeah, like I'm I'm glad that it has uh, Switch Lite support. Like that that mm-hmm. for me is a big deal. You know, I don't have one, but it, it's just like it, it. It was a bummer for the last one for it to, yeah. for, you know, to because you basically, if you wanted to sell your, you know, let's say you wanted to just have 
a switch light and didn't really care about the you know having a dock and stuff mm-hmm. like you had to keep that yeah. that old console in order to play that game mm-hmm. so yeah Mm-hmm. So, all yeah, right. I I almost traded mine for the light, and then it. Uh, I was like, wait, I can't play Mario Party on it, yeah. so I didn't. That's the only reason why I didn't trade it in. That's sad that that's the only reason you didn't trade. That's it. the only reason I never play my I never play my Switch on my TV like ever, ever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of the same way. That's why I really need uh, one of the new the new switches if it even is, really is a thing I know, anymore. I need a Switch Pro so bad. Where is it? Where yeah. is it, Nintendo? Yeah, Reggie's hey, playing on one. Speculation. A lot of speculation that that's why they're all these yeah. games are getting these cloud versions is because the that will be how you play most games on the old one, and then the new one will be able to play it. Like, you know, actually on the console. <laughs> you know why? That's it's still- because it's because they don't have an executive big enough to pull it out of his pocket like Reggie. Remember when Reggie yeah. would just pull, like, the DS oh, out yeah. of his pocket? Or... Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Logan, what's your number three? Number three for me is Riders Republic. I thought it had a wonderful showing. Um, yeah. I, I've, I've played a little bit of this game in the beta test, and I can tell you it's absolutely as awesome as it looks. But it really showed up and really brought um, a lot of the cool customization options. We saw Trick Attack, which is the new game mode coming, which is awesome. Um, this game, I think, is going to be one that they're going to build around for a while. Like, you know, similar to how like they built X Games into Steep and the Olympics into Steep. I think they're going to do something similar with Riders Republic. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of great opportunity here with this game, and I can't wait to play it again. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks like uh, it looks like Ubisoft is going out of their way to make the like a SSX plus, right? Like mm-hmm. in that that you know EA is not making. So mm-hmm. uh, that's what has me interested. Is like okay, this is this is like snowboarding and all this other weird stuff to the extreme, and I'm like I'm I'm all for it. I want to try it really yeah. bad. It's like the Tony Hawk version of like a mix, you know, like it's it's all about having fun and like yeah. having real tricks and things in it, but it but they're just, you know, more arcadey kind of fun feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I really hope that game comes to Game Pass cuz that's definitely a game that I don't want to spend on cuz I know it won't keep me for long. Don't worry. 6 weeks after it comes out, it'll be on sale. So <laughs> Because yeah. that's that's Ubisoft. <laughs> that's true. It's a Ubisoft game. It'll be thirty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Jesse, what's your what's your number three? Yeah, mine was mine was the Breath of the Wild too. Ah, okay. We'll, yeah, we yeah. can talk about that a little bit later, I guess, because it's my number one. So, <laughs> spoilers. Zelda game's my number one. <laughs> wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked it wasn't Dave Goodrapa, Corey. I really was. I'm hey, really you know what? I'm really happy that the Switch is getting those <laughs> games, okay? And it's an all-in-one package. I will play them. I'll play them. Austin, we can do a spoiler we'll cast them. on them. Do you play do you, do you Ace Attorney? Nope. Do you play Ace Attorney games? Nope. Oh, okay. I own the... I was just saying, I it's just the, Ace Attorney, but darker. Way darker. I got the, I got the trilogy, Austin. So... <laughs> the ace attorney trilogy so because it was on sale for like 12 bucks mm. at one point so, oh yeah the uh, ron what's your number three my number three is rainbow six extraction Ooh. you know hey. i uh, rainbow six has always been hit or miss for me but i love this i love this whole alien contagion thing uh for this go around and stuff like that so like it's pro so it, i'm not gonna say it's gonna be a day one pick for me but it's gonna wind up in my library at some point because uh because there's just a whole bunch of cool aspects about it and things like that and um i really like the, i really like the mechanic of like fighting the contagion where basically the extraction part is like you're actually like saving the people who are hosting who are the host for the parasites mm-hmm. like this game also went through so many different names it was rainbow six quarantine at one point it was rainbow six it was rainbow six uh parasite it was rainbow six contagion and now it's extra- extraction <laughs> yeah so is this like a i feel like this is almost like a rainbow six version of left for dead like is that is that like dialing it down too too simply i i think it's more of a left for, or i think it's more of a uh prey version 
Mm. Yeah, I, I I feel like it's more prey than um than Le- Left for Dead. Because mm. like I know Ron, you and I talked about this a few weeks ago. Was like you know we know Prey Two is not in development. It's not going to happen. But there's still so many technological advances that they made with that game from the effects and everything. Like they have to use that in other games, and that's what this kind of looks like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think I think they'll probably use it in that Redfall game, probably. It right, the Prey yeah. stuff. Yeah, because that's, that's the same yeah. team. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the, yeah. That, that, Jesse, yeah, I'm surprised you didn't. Have reminds me of a. Uh, uh, Call of Duty Ghost Extinction. That's what it reminds me of, really. And Extinction was the one that I wish they would have brought back, but Call of Duty's stuck on zombies and forever will be at this point. Yeah. yeah. In Nuketown. Yeah, yeah well, like uh, well, yeah, like I had I had to give Josh a come to Jesus moment that uh that everything just cycles. So like it, it's 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 zo- like it's it's gonna be zombie is go well right now it's like the the big vampire. the big trifecta. Yeah, so it's a vampire, werewolves and, and mummies right now. But it's gonna oh, yeah. cycle back it's gonna cycle back to, to zombies, of course, because like in twenty twenty two and twenty twenty three we got all those games that are basically space zombies <laughs> and all that stuff, so just get ready for it and then you know, like and then it'll be back to like it'll be back to Nazis again. Hmm. As long as we leave the the twilight vampires in the dust, that's oh, all you mean I you don't, no, you no, don't no, want no, your kill, vampires no, to sparkle? Kill, kill them! Kill no. them! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesse, I'm surprised. I hope Red Ball is just killing all the twilight characters. <laughs> that's all the all the people. They're that's not a, even bad guys. That's a you future expansion. <laughs> future expansion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesse, I'm surprised you didn't have more to say on this game. Oh, on on extraction, like yeah. Oh, yeah I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I. Yeah, like this is, it's essentially like a, yeah, a, a must get for me. I'm, yeah, like I just, I just like if the, anything like outside of, or, well, it, it doesn't matter outside, but like anything with those, like the mechanics of like the siege stuff in it, like I'm all in because I just absolutely love like what they did. Like they kind of took the whole like battlefield, like everything is destructible thing to and to the next level in my opinion mm-hmm. yeah. and made it more more mean something you know it's not just about destroying a building so you could you know whatever like this like that game actually made it where it actually means something and it's you know it's key to winning you know winning the match for your team like i yeah i'm i'm really excited and interested in seeing how they kind of mix mix that stuff in uh with this and you know kind of make those those mechanics of of siege relevant to to what they're trying to do so i'm yeah i'm definitely interested that's like i said dude there's so many things i could i could like honorable mention like with all this stuff like even like some moreville uh or, or summer, summer I mean Ville. So, yeah like that yeah. game I am so excited for that it just looks so awesome but yeah I yeah I'll tell you what this extraction this is this is how you get me to play Rainbow Six Jesse yeah we might yeah. have to have a team stream of this yeah at some it, point so yeah I I definitely would I'd be all <laughs> for that because yeah this this game it just looks like a fun time yeah uh well my number three is Metroid Dread. Uh looks cool. Mostly because <laughs> I think uh I think Laron knows this best as we've been hearing about this game for about fifteen years now. Yeah. Uh, because it was it was supposed to launch on Game Boy Advance. Uh yeah. And then see now that I did now that I didn't know about. Mm-hmm. Was this supposed to be a follow up to Fusion? Mm-hmm. Okay. It is it's a direct it sequel still to Fusion. Is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, why did get why did get caught up in development hell like that then? Uh, they went through three different developers. They didn't like where the game was going. They scrapped it. I guess. Well, I mean, I wouldn't like times. the. I, I'm I'm not really feeling the way it's going with that name. Dread. Like, Dread. I, I, yeah, that's the name. It's cool. So, uh, what you think that's cool? Because that, yeah. that the only the only reason why I'm sold on it is because it's a Metroid game. But I'm like right. that name. Like like. Uh, uh, Dread is but like. Then again, but then again, as Metroid game. Metroid's always had the creep factor. Um, I'll say that it's always had the creep factor. Like especially played the old NES one, and mm-hmm. you know, like it, you're just running against dark caverns until you get to that one area where it's, it's like, where uh, uh, was it? No, uh, Nolandia, where mm-hmm. uh, Norfair, 
North where, it's, where it's all lava and now all of a sudden it's red, you know. Yeah. But, it, but yeah, it's always been like this dark, you know, like suggestive, creepy, creepy game and stuff, you know. Like the the musical score for um for Super Metroid, you know, like brought up brought up more of the creepy factor and stuff like that. And then by the time we got to like freaking Metroid Metroid uh Metroid Fusion, yeah, like uh like oh and of course the game the Game Boy the Game Boy one the uh the Samus, Samus Returns, Returns you know yeah. yeah. Like there was always a creep factor to it, and I, I, I you know, I, I can see now with the new thread and everything, and with the direction they're going, they're just trying to keep the motif going of the, of the series. So I, I can respect it, but that name still throws me off. <laughs> I, uh, Corey, was it as big of a shock to you being in at E3 as it was to oh, like? God. I mean, it, I in, mean, in the virtual in the writers' room, it was a shock. As as I'm not really a huge Metroid guy. Like I like Metroid, but I'm right. not like I'm not going to go out and be like, oh yeah, Samus, woo. You know what I mean? Like, see, I'm. When, uh, See, I'm the Met- I'm the Metroid fan for Boss Rush, ex- with the exception of uh, Prime. <laughs> I, uh, but to me, it's just like I'm really happy for the super fans of Metroid that we're getting a new 2D Metroid, uh, especially on Switch. I like the fact that it seems to be doing some cool evolutions of the things that the 3DS game was doing. The remake of two. Uh, I really like the visual style, honestly, where it, that monochromatic kind of just black and white environments with just hints of color, right? You see the red and blue on her suit. You see the lights mm-hmm. on the robots. You see the lights on the doors. And that's kind of like where your color is coming from. And I really dig that. I really like the art style, uh, yeah. which I think is why I'm so excited, right? Because like the whole Metroidvania thing, I'm just like not super into the only metro game i've ever beaten besides prime one was the original metroid uh so i mean i i've actually been playing around with getting the ones that are available on wii u's virtual console uh on wii u and then uh the remake of two on 3ds i'm gonna try to play through all of them before this game comes out because they're not that long that first mm-hmm. one's not long. Super Metroid's not long, so that's uh, that's where I'm at on that. But I I really mm-hmm. like where this series seems to be going. It's it's got it's got me intrigued. Uh, so mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I I never got to play the last, you know, the one that was on 3ds. Um, I and well, I've wanted to, but did I just because it was on 3ds and the Switch was awesome. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I had to sell. I just had to sell mine to get my Switch, and so it was like, yeah, it was like I'm not gonna buy another one now again just so I can play one game, you know? Like, mm-hmm. but I I because I've never really ha- I've never really been into the the 2D Metroid games. Mm-hmm. Like I've played most of them, but. You know, like, yeah, I'm. I agree with you, though, Corey. Like, this one, like, really has me. And in- oh, technically, the last one had me interested in playing a, a 2D Metroid game again. But, but yeah, I just do. I do like what they're what they're doing. Like you said, the art style stuff is really cool, and I like the whole like nemesis like type thing, and like the you know being chased and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's yeah, the, it's just some really cool things that they're doing to make it stand out for you know for those kind of games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, but that's my number three. Awesome. We're going back to you. What's your number two? Okay, I I do have a quick question for you all. Metroid does the development hell give you a little bit of a worry about the game? No, because, because the, no, the team that they no. the team that they moved the game to did mm. samus returns on 3ds and that game was very good so yeah mm-hmm. okay. okay same i didn't i didn't get to play samus returns on 3ds same reasons it just it was 3DS. 3ds was over at that point yeah, yeah. and with but, nintendo you know that if they didn't like where it was going we still wouldn't know that it exists <laughs> you know like yeah like just the fact that they showed this like means that they're confident and what was it was it dated uh, it, it comes out what? It comes out later this year, right? Yeah, it comes out this year, October. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah, I believe so. October eighth is when it comes out. Eighth. I already pre-ordered. Yeah, it. I got I got really excited, and then I kept hearing like the story behind it because I didn't know all this stuff, and mm-hmm. then I got like Mighty Number no. Nine flashbacks, and then, and then I got really scared. <laughs> <laughs> I got really scared. Ooh. I gotta tell you that I will tell you that the DS version that they showed working 
uh, mm -hmm. at some point was not good looking. Um, uh, so yeah, this, this game looks awesome. Yeah, just I watching mean, it, it just looks great. I think I think Mercury Steam, even though they had some really bad issues with Castlevania in the past, like I think mm -hmm. with Nintendo overseeing development of these games, seems like they don't want another other M situation. Which is mm -hmm. honestly why I think the DS version of of this game got canceled is because yeah. of how bad Other M was received. So mm -hmm. uh, I think with Nintendo kind of overseeing it and stuff, it's going to be just fine. So, um, my number two, and I don't think this is going to be on anyone's list, but Shimigami Tensei Five. Ooh, I am super excited for more in this series. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying it looks like a PS2 game, a PS3 game, or whatever. I just want to know what care. PS2 they were playing PSRPG. to get games this yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm like, it, it doesn't look like I. It's not. It doesn't have the style of like Persona Five did, or and I can understand that. But to me, like turn-based RPGs, as long as the story's good and like. Not as like the art style is different and unique and cool. That's all that gets me. And all the demons that are in the Shimagami Tensei series, it's I love all the all the versions of them, all the different demons in it. So I'm very excited for that. I'm I I heard a rumor that it was coming to PS4 and I was like, wait, and then that got canned really quickly. And I was like, dang. So I, I will be playing it on Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so no trophies for me. Yeah. Womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm actually intrigued in that game as well because I think it's the closest thing we're gonna get to Persona on Switch at some point. So, man, I was really pulling for a Persona three and four remakes on either Switch or even PS4 and Xbox One. I'm surprised uh, Persona four Golden hasn't gotten some sort of PS4 port at this point. I mean, it's on PC, and I'm like, why is it only on PC? Why it's on it's on, it's on the Vita too. <laughs> Yeah, but. Well, yeah, it was it was made for the Vita, but it came to PC like a year ago, and that's how a lot of people are playing it yeah, right now. Yeah, that is. Man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Logan, what's your number two? Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh. By nice. Square Enix. Love what we saw out of this game. I know yeah. people are complaining about the characters, but look, in these games, it's very hard to make it look exactly like Chris Pratt and... Uh, the and way that they did that. I don't that. want it to look, I don't want it to look yeah. like that either. Yeah, I, don't I, it I, I, I don't want it to look like any of those characters. The only, yeah. the only character, the only two characters that need to look like that, how they're supposed to look is Rocket and Groot. Yep. Yeah, and they do, exactly. so it's fine. This game looked like it had a better combat system than what Avengers has, which has me really excited because like, I think Square realizes, hey, they didn't do the combat system as well as they could have with Avengers, mm -hmm. so they kind of fixed it here with this one. I... I, I love it. I'm really, really hyped for this. They need to tell a good story with it, but as long as there's a good story, I can't wait for it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm I, expecting... I like a... the whole choice thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say the same I'm thing. Feeling, I feel like it would be easier, though, for Guardians of the Galaxy, since, uh, you know, Star-Lord uses a gun, Gamora uses, you know, guns, swords, or whatever, and then Drax uses swords, fists, or whatever. So everyone's using guns, and with Avengers, it was all powers, and I think they had a hard time getting... The powers involved, mm -hmm. uh, right. so I think I feel like it's it's going to be easier to do for Guardians of the Galaxy to make it more, right. yeah. Connected. Plus, like focusing on focusing on one character and one story and one kind mm -hmm. of, you know, having choices kind of matter, but at the end, like kind of altering the story, but still kind of, you know, I I think it's. I think this is the smart, the smartest decision they could have done, right? Um, mm -hmm. Plus, mm -hmm. I tr I trust this team because both Deus Ex games were good, and the Tomb Raider game they made yep. was excellent. So, it's it's gonna throw people off though, like if it has too much of a Deus Ex feel, because that's not normally the kind of gameplay that's, that's associated with like Avengers and Marvel games. So it will be interesting on that now. But I mean, graphically and what we saw, what little bit we saw of the story, like. It has me 100% hooked. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I don't really care a lot about Guardians of the Galaxy, but I think that this game looks great. I I think, <laughs> like, the story, like, choosing things that happen in the story, I don't think they're going to matter too much just so, like, the general audience can get into it, right? Like, Deus Ex is mm -hmm. a very niche game, right? Like, I, I don't think that game yeah. sold very well. It's very highly, you know, regarded and everything, but I don't think it's sold very well. 
But if you take okay. light elements of that and put it in a Guardians game and just make it feel like, oh, cool, I get to make this decision. That's neat kind of thing. It's going to draw mm-hmm. a general audience in that, you know, yeah. Deus Ex never did. So, mm-hmm. uh, Jesse, what's your number th- two game? Two, two game. Yeah. yeah. Scarlet Nexus. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. All right. Interesting I, pick. I like it. I'm, I'm really, like... Uh, they did a deep dive on this at the end of the the Xbox Showcase Extended, where they talked to like all the developers and they literally broke down every little thing about the create, you know, creating this game and and where the inspirations for the 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 world, you know, visuals came from. And they talk about having you know the Tokyo Tower in there, but they but they wanted to make it bigger because you know like they're like they just really went into into depth and just really like had such passion for what they were doing in this game on top of it just looking amazing like the whole the whole fact that they were able to pull off cell shading characters in a more realism looking world you know over the top of it and make it so mm-hmm it still felt like those characters belong there is, is impressive in my, my opinion. Um, I, I just played the demo actually of it before we started the show. And I am, I just absolutely love it. Like the, the combo stuffs and just what they're doing in this game. Like I, I'm just really enjoying it. And it, and so far it's a little bit more, I would say, uh, player friendly for people who aren't maybe like super great at uh like doing button combos and stuff like that um they kind of do a little bit more of a um almost action like the action sequence kind of thing in in some cases so like you know like you can just push like buttons rapidly and it will do combos but like you have this power where you can like grab stuff and you can throw it, but ac- there's actually another version of that where when you throw it into someone, then it will give you an action sequence of where you can use that power to then bash them again with it. Like mm-hmm. and so like they just got cool stuff like that that they did that's just really like player friendly and it's 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 a simplified more simplified version of like a bayonetta or a you know, devil may cry or that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But I just really, really like the setting and like the characters are cool. And just the, the whole, like, like you can call on powers from all these different characters. And then it like mutates your body into this cool looking thing that gets super powerful. And just like, there's, it's just such a fun game, a uh, fun looking game. And, and, uh, yeah, it, it was totally something that I normally would not have on a, on my list for for stuff like this. It's just not not normally something that you'd see me super into. But yeah, the, this is just doing something for me that I really enjoy. So yeah, that's that's a odd pick for you. I thought I think. Yeah. Are you having a stroke, Jesse? I feel like you've been hanging out with Ed too long. <laughs> <laughs> No, I honestly, <laughs> it's Game Pass. Like Game Pass is like allowed me to try different stuff and like find that hey, like maybe it isn't that I don't like these kind of games. It's just I just don't like that particular game, but I do like yeah. games like it. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I, I'll be honest. Like uh, I know like everyone in the world loves it, but I just did not get into Bayonetta. Yeah, but I do like this game, and I like there are games like I like uh, near Automata. I like you know like stuff like that. That mm-hmm. so, so yeah, I'm I'm really excited with this game, and I'm probably gonna play it more later. The demo, nice, nice. A, a modern a modern world tales just sounds great. It just yeah. sounds great. The yeah. same people made tales in this game. It's it's gonna yeah. be great. Only yeah. it's this week, isn't it? It's this week. Yeah, that right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It comes out the same day as Mario Golf. <laughs> <laughs> so does Tony well, Hawk on Switch too. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
guess what yeah. game I'm buying? <laughs> It's not yeah. Scarlet Nexus and it's not Tony Hawk. <laughs> uh, Leron, what's your number two game? Uh, my number two game is Forza Horizon Five. Ooh, Here yeah, like uh, like I like like I maybe like a month or so ago I installed Forza Horizon Four on my um on my PC from the Game Pass, mm-hmm. and yeah. um and I what, what intrigued me was um was like I have a ginormous ass freaking monitor, like it's a forty nine inch ultra uh, ultra wide monitor. Um, and when I heard that, um, that it actually uses the entire landscape of the, of the, of the monitor for the, for the end game, I was like, oh, I have to see this. And I was blown away with it. And so, yeah, so watching the, um, the presentation that they had, that that Microsoft had for it and seeing all those features coming back, plus the super realism and all that stuff. I was like, hell yes. Like I I want this, I'm going to get this, you know? Yeah. 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 I, 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 I. I'm not gonna go ultra geek on this, but I, I you know, cause uh, but I do, I like how I like how like for like like Horizon has like the mixture of like the 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 technical plus the arcade style, and that's the one that, that's how you that's how you keep me coming back to a racing game, you know, like yeah. if mm-hmm. if you got if if you got if you're gonna have it if it's gonna be technical, you need to throw a little bit of like the arcade style like elements into it to keep me coming back to it. This is why this is why I'm not just running after Gran Turismo Seven when it comes out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, like that's what I was gonna say. Is you got, yeah, you get the best of both worlds. You get the like realism and the the look, you know, of like a a hardcore like like you know realism trying sim game, but at the same time you get that that fun arcade side of it as well. You know, you get like, yeah, you really do get the best of both yeah. in those Horizon games. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, but I'm just keeping that one short and sweet though. Yeah, uh, my number two game, Halo Infinite. I don't know oh, how. That's phenomenal. Yeah, I, I was so worried last year. I'm like, man, I, I don't want Halo to be bad. And as somebody who mm-hmm. really loved Halo Four and thought Halo 5's multiplayer and movement and gunplay was really good, but the story was really lackluster. I'm like, I really want Halo to return to prominence right and i think like Mm -hmm. what they showed not only during the presentation but the extended stuff later in the week was really phenomenal i love the multiplayer stuff i love the multiplayer look i love that big team battle is 12v12 now i love that the season pass stuff seems really interesting in terms of cosmetics and uh the the see the uh the what is it the pass that never ends right like it never expires mm-hmm. you can yeah. just keep going and mm-hmm. keep going which is kind of what they're doing in master chief collection right now and uh i'm really excited for halo infinite i used to love halo multiplayer it really brought back those vibes of halo 2 and 3 multiplayer that i really yep. loved with modern mm-hmm. sensibilities right with uh yeah like the grappling hook that you can pull weapons towards you looks really yeah. cool the like the fact that you can sprint and equipment is coming back from Halo Three and it's just mm-hmm. like oh my gosh I'm mm-hmm. so excited to play this right especially because like yeah I like playing multiplayer games but Destiny's PvP has been so just unbalanced lately uh, I can't get into Warzone I can't get into you know these other multiplayer Gears is just wall bouncy shotgun fuck fest yeah. like I just can't do that it's <laughs> The fact that Halo might be like in in the fact that it's free to play for everyone, right? Like yeah, yeah you have to it's buy really the huge. battle passes if you don't buy the game or play it on Game Pass, but like But not all of the great cosmetics are locked behind it, you know, like yeah. we've seen that uh, that amazing samurai outfit is yeah. going to be something you can unlock without the battle pass. Yeah. I'm so excited. That and in the so story awesome. and in the story that they've released, like yeah. the fact that we're gonna be trying to help Cortana, I mean, mm-hmm. heck yeah, I mean, I'm totally in for this. Yeah, a new yeah. AI that's gonna help you look for Cortana, like Chief's Chief's got two women now, guys. Yeah. Cause I don't even have one. Roll <laughs> thirty four or forty three is gonna be having a day with all the new with the new AI. I'm sure. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh, yeah, the that like that looked that campaign section looked really cool too. Like when he was floating through space and he was like mm-hmm. gently moving the marines yeah, out, like of the way, the out of the way, pushed the guy and like yeah. like just tossing away the the covenant and the. And the debris, right? And then when he gets to the warthog with the uh, marines in it, I thought he was going to grab the dog tags off of the guy 
in the sea. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, he grabbed the gun, and then it moved to first person with the grappling hook, right? And that seemed like it's going to yeah. change movement as well. Uh, that was really cool. Oh, back to the multiplayer thing. The fact that you can incorporate your own AI into your multiplayer, like you yeah, can unlock different yes. AI voices, yes. plus yeah. the return of Halo 2 and 3's multiplayer announcer. Mm. When is Snoop Dogg gonna be? I'm not scared. Uh, <laughs> Battlefield Dogg. comes out in October, Jesse. You can play that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I will be playing that. Uh, but yeah, Halo Halo Infinite is my number two, and it would have been number one if a certain other game wasn't shown. But we'll get there. So, yeah. Awesome. For me, for, oh, sorry, Jesse. I was just gonna say, yeah, Halo Halo Infinite was my number one. So mm-hmm. yeah, I'm I'm so ready for that, and just. Like, I just wanted to touch on one more thing with it, like in the, the multiplayer, too. I just love that it's no more no more of this vehicles just being parked at your spawn. Oh, yeah. Like, now, like, stuff drops. drops yeah, the pelicans in come in and, and drop off your, your yeah. things. And you got the, the pods from Halo 2 that drop in, so you can re, re-up your uh, ammo and stuff like that. And, mm-hmm. like... Like the Razorback, they're introducing that new vehicle so you can store weapons and stuff on it mm-hmm. and bring it to the fight. Like yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for this game. Yeah, I've good. been watching so much of it every this... single day, dude. I've been watching things and I've been playing, <laughs> I've been playing Halo Five multiplayer lately because I'm just yeah. so excited to get I, back into it. I re-downloaded mm-hmm. Halo Five and I actually update finally did the the new update for uh, Master Chief Collection because I I was planning on playing Halo last <laughs> night but I fell asleep at nine forty eight so yeah <laughs> you know cause, uh, Logan I know you tweeted at me and said you would play with me and then I just fell asleep because. I had to work yesterday at five thirty in the morning, so gross. Did they did they announce how big the how many players will be in each map on a uh, on Halo? It's I think it's still four v four for the base modes. There's an eight v eight mode, and then there's a a twelve v twelve big team battle. Uh, oh, okay. No word, no mention of the returning Warzone. Uh, game type which is like 24 v 24 with pve right. elements in it yeah. which i mm. i suspect will come later uh but i yeah. think they just want to get this basic multiplayer please. stuff down please bring back yeah. fiesta mode <laughs> it'll be it'll be there <laughs> oh my god dude that <laughs> mode is so fun that's all i play on on five <laughs> it's just <laughs> chaos pure chaos yeah and i love it austin what's your number one game my number one, and no, a lot of people like to hate on the uh, creative director for these games, but I can't help it. I love Borderlands, and I am so excited. Yes, I was, hoping you're gonna bring I was hoping you were going to bring it. I was hoping you were going to bring it. I'm Tina. stoked. I, yes. I, Borderlands, I played a little bit of the first one. I played a little bit of the second one. To me, it's like, it's fine. But for some reason, mm-hmm. Tiny Tina... Tiny Tina's Wonderlands mm-hmm. looks oh, yeah. so fun and good, and the yeah. cast is good. Andy Samberg and Wanda Sykes and uh, uh, who's the other one? That who Will else? Arnett. Will Arnett. Will Arnett. Will Arnett. Uh, mm-hmm. Looks so yeah, good. I'm yeah. I'm stoked. I'm so excited. This is like I I I swear Godfall was basically just a beta for this because <laughs> basically it's taken the because when they were marketing Godfall as Swordlands mm-hmm. I was like why don't they just make a Borderlands with like swords and magic powers and stuff like that and I was like well they probably won't do it and then here they are they're doing it and it's all going to be <laughs> in Tiny Tina's mind for her Dungeons and Dragons and she's completely messed up which makes it even more exciting. It's just going to be a lot of fun. I plan on playing it with my friends. Um, you know, we, we played through all the Borderlands together, so I cannot wait for this one. I'm super, super excited. Yeah. Yeah, This that's one that, like, I initially had no idea or no, like, I didn't really know a whole lot about it, but I've more recently I've just kind of been looking into it, you know, because I didn't know a whole lot, but yeah like it it looks really interesting it definitely is something that went from me just being like uh, okay to to okay (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) yep 
Yeah. I, I, all I need to know is that it's in the Borderlands universe to get me excited, but yeah. this, like, it took it up a notch. I've never been this excited. I wasn't excited about this excited about Borderlands 3. So, yeah. like, I'm more excited about this game for some reason, but yeah, yeah I'm super, super stoked. Yeah. Sometimes that's all it needs is a change, changing, mm-hmm. you know, just a change up, a refresh. Mm hmm. And this I is how you do it. What it needed, especially because Tiny Tina yeah. seem, seems just from like an outside perspective, seems to be like one of the fan favorite characters of Borderlands, anyway. Oh, a hundred percent. So yeah, and uh, Ashley Birch is back playing her, so that's that's great. Yeah, yeah, and give give people a real reason to have like a comedy, <laughs> like and humor in it instead of just a robot that you know most people didn't find <laughs> funny or whatever. Hey, you know, don't. Hey, force there's hey. a there's a robot. <laughs> Wanda Sykes is playing. No, a robot. I liked them. Oh. I liked them personally, but I, I mean, a lot <laughs> of people just note. did not seem to, to you know, be be into the humor and you know, and it's yeah, it I is what it no, is. But no claptrap <laughs> slander, Minecraft. Hey man, <laughs> he's he's the main reason I bought that that uh, poker game. Oh god! What's, what was the? Oh yeah, game? that that and because uh, Gladys was in it from oh, from yeah, Portal. Yeah. So yeah, yes, Poker Night. Yeah, I think it was right. Yeah, but, I bought that same game. The same exact reason. <laughs> Claptrap and Gladys. I'm like, those are my yeah. two two of my favorite characters. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> wow. Uh, Logan, what's your number one game? Man, Bethesda talked a lot about a lot of great games, but the one that I want to talk about is Party Animals. <laughs> the game gang was... beast like yeah. game oh, that yeah. just see it has Land Party written all over it. Yeah, um, I cannot wait for this game. Why do I feel like you I'm and everybody from Land Party is just going to get real drunk and stream this one night? Oh, dude! I multiple nights. As soon as it got announced, and we had the article up on the site, I put it in our group chat. I was like, "Guys, it's just us, Britain, pretty much written all over." It's like we do gang beasts every now and then, and <laughs> some of the dumbest, funniest streams that we do. Wow! Um, shout out to sh- shout out to Big Bobby Fuck, the guy that we play yeah. gang beast. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Jesse, you said your number one was Halo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mine was Halo. So, uh, Leron, what's your number one game here? Metroid Dread. Mm. <laughs> mm. Guess, guess we don't hey, need it. Do you, wanna, do you have anything else to say about it that we didn't uh, touch on? No, no, not really. Not really. I'm just glad there's a fresh entry. Like, uh, like I'm kind of I'm kind of shocked that, that, you know, like... Well, okay, here's my here's my thing. Like, how come Nintendo's not... How come Nintendo didn't pick E3 to start doing the pageantry for the 35th anniversaries for the for the two franchises this year? Mm, I don't. I mean, know. it's the it's the middle of the fracking year. Like, what what's going on? Because Nintendo doesn't care as much as Ninten- its fans do. Yeah, yeah, n- yeah. Nintendo doesn't care about uh, Nintendo doesn't care about Zelda apparently because like it yeah. left, left you got left you guys hanging for like a hot minute. Like, I mean, let me shit. let me tell you she, what Nintendo mentioned- did for Zelda's 35th anniversary. Ready? This oh, is what they get, said. This is yeah, what they said. Watch. This is what they said. They said, S- "Skyward Sword is what we have for you." And even though we don't have more Switch games coming during the 35th anniversary, they said that no more Zelda Switch games until after the 35th anniversary is over. Which means if Breath of the Wild gets delayed, you sure as hell be- know you're getting uh, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker coming from the Wii U. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, sh- you shit out of luck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and then they're like, "Oh, Metroid Dread's here," but we're not going to mention the anniversary. So yeah, we're not going to mention the anniversary. We're not going to no. say anything about Prime Four. You know, uh, they did release. You know, they did release a nice graphic of for Metroid about how and where you can play these games, and they're all like, they're like, "Oh, well, these ones are on Switch Online, Metroid One and Two, or whatever." And then they're like, "Samus Returns is on your 3DS," and then. Metroid Fusion's on your Game Boy Advance, so go dig that out somewhere. And then they're like, oh, yeah. by the way, all these games are on Wii U Virtual Console as well. It's like, you're basically just telling people to go find old consoles or go, consoles yeah. nobody bought. Right. <laughs> so. uh, you know, you know, if I didn't, you know, if I didn't know any better, if I didn't know any better, I'd, I'd say Nintendo and, uh, and, uh, and, and Tim Ryan are, are best friends. Yeah. <laughs> nah. you, know, you know whose anniversary did get a shout-out, though? Oh, Super Advance Monkey Ball. Wars. 
Advance uh, Wars. Advance Wars. Yeah. Advance Wars got no, a 20 year. Super, mo- Super Monkey <laughs> Ball. Super Monkey Ball. Super I Monkey Ball wait too. for that band that that, that game. They, I'm ready. They, no, yeah. they said no, they said that shit right on Nintendo Direct. Super Monkey Ball celebrating its twenty fifth year anniversary this year. <laughs> they said yeah. that right on the Nintendo mm. Direct. Mm. <laughs> after the Metro like, after was, Metroid, by the way. And I was like, Yeah, it was like Metroid and Zelda fans dying of fire. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Uh, you, <laughs> we're just gonna throw your hopes and dreams into the volcano like we did that Smash character. So. I mean, I mean, you know what though? Like, uh, 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 like a fresh, a fresh new Metroid title is better than I expected because I was like, oh, they're just gonna port Samus Returns and call that's, it a day. That's what I thought they were gonna do. I'm <laughs> like, I, I'd be fine with that, but like a new Me Metroid too. game would be better. And Me then too. Like, like, I, like I. I don't even know why I still have my my 3DS plugged in. Yes, you do. I mean, well. <laughs> Yes, you do. Because here's mine. Here's mine. It's dead. Cause... I have mine <laughs> in my bed drawer, and it really never gets used <laughs> ever anymore. Mine, mine, just, mine just got turned on a couple of days ago because I reloaded freaking Monster Hunter Stories 1 on yeah, you it. did. Oh. Of course, Monster Hunter. Hmm. <laughs> As far as uh, Monster Hunter, Hunter Stories 2 wasn't on your uh, your top three. I mean, we already we already knew I was excited for that. We already knew Actually, that. Yeah. Mm. And besides, and besides, Capcom, Capcom, they 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 played some shenanigans on us uh, this year. <laughs> they they played some shenanigans on us. Who was the other company? Like, uh, oh, oh, Bandai Namco. Like, man, why, why did Capcom even have a conference? Right. Uh, yeah. They had it, DLC it, for Resident Evil Eight that they had no idea what they were doing for. They're like, oh, here's more updates for Monster Hunter, which we could have released on. In like a trailer or a blog post. Here's, 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 my, here's Ace my, Attorney, here's, which five people care about, and then uh, esports, which Logan I guess would care about. But here's here's my theory about the Resident Evil Eight uh, DLC. They thought that Resident Evil like Reverse was going to be the only DLC that they they would have to worry about for, for RE Eight, and that was it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because uh, because they're like, yeah, like uh, like we 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 heard your outcry, you 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 you're pouring your outpouring of love for our Resident Evil Eight, so we're working on some DLC for you. Like, uh, you should have been thinking about that, like as the game was releasing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and then um, and then Bandai Namco, like like bro, like <laughs> it was uh, not great. Like, wh- why didn't y'all just do like your buddies Konami and like, hey, we we have nothing, so we're not going to be here. <laughs> you could do yeah, like, like two instead. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, cool. hey! Say what you hey say what you will about take two. <laughs> like, like, like David, David Lasby and I, we were we were riveted to that because like that was some that was some really informational stuff. Oh, and by the way, for for people who are out there listening and are like, why did take two do that? And why was there like a women in games panel and all that stuff? Like every convention you go to has this stuff, but you but you guys are always worried about the physical content and stuff, so you never check it out. You know, every every convention has it. Whether it's an anime convention, whether it's whether it's a hot, whether it's San Diego Comic Con. All that stuff. Every convention has the, that stuff, but you only worry about what you can get your hands on, what what, what swag you know you can bring home. Mm-hmm. So so yeah. So and, and by the way, don't bash Jennifer Hale because she she hosted the hell out of that woman in games uh, uh freaking freaking who's conference. Ba- who's bashing Jennifer Hale? I'm just saying because who you know because you, you know some misogynistic you know mofo who was all up in my mentions when I made my uh, my Aloy post. You know is probably like what what are all these women doing here? You know you know how. You know how what are these women doing in my video games? <laughs> They're saving. I would your like fu- to know what he thinks this- about. <laughs> I want to know what he thinks about Rivet, <laughs> Ratchet and Clay. <laughs> like- me? No, the guy that oh, saw oh, all oh, your oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, why is Rivet wearing more big? Oh, oh I'm <laughs> why? No, why no, can't no, we no, see no, this no. animal's boobs? Why aren't they hanging no, out? Yeah. No, show no, me trust- your titties. No, trust me. He was just—he was—he he was. That's the guy's outrage because of the fact they flipped the switch and, and made a female the main character for a game that's traditionally been a male character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Well, my number one game was Breath of the Wild uh, Two. They showed a quick trailer for it. Uh, it it. They showed off some new powers. They showed off some story elements, which still are just like, I don't really understand what's going on. But uh, it it just it brought. I I really love that game, Logan. I know you say you don't you don't get it why everybody loves that game, right. and like I think that game is 
I don't, it, it's far from perfect, right? Like, I don't like the it, degradable weapons. I miss the dungeons. I thought the Divine Beasts were probably the worst parts of the game, right? Uh-huh. But, like, I don't know. There's something about that game that was really just, I don't know. I don't know what it was about that uh, game. It was more about the world, in my yeah. opinion. Like, I liked everything, like, just exploring the world. That's all I cared about in that game, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I just, you know, that game did a lot for me that I, Nintendo games have, like, I don't really know how to explain it. But anyways, just the, the reason why this game got me excited was, like, the new powers that they showed, like, the weird... I'm going to swim through this rock portal <laughs> thing. Uh was yeah. really cool. I thought, you know, how they kind of evolved the world, right, where it's clearly the same map, but there's, like, a sky world, and we're probably going to go underground for a little bit, right? Like, there's new sections of the world that weren't there in the first game. Uh, there's, you know, a, probably going to be dungeons, it looks like. Uh it does make me kind of sad that Zelda might not be playable, which I I thought for sure they were going to allow us to switch between them uh, at oh, this yeah. point. Or maybe like we play as Zelda Underground and we play as Link in the Sky or whatever. Uh, I'm just really excited for more Breath of the Wild. I pop that game in still from time to time and just run around the world and kill stuff and get rupees and try to upgrade some stuff even though I'm not doing anything uh, with it. It's just that game was special to me when it came out, and I'm ready for more. So, very cool. Same. Were you, because uh, I was listening to the Nintendo Direct while I was driving home, and so I wasn't really watching it. And they were talking about, like, this This is our Zelda information. And then I was listening to it. I was like, okay, what is it? Is it going to be Breath of the Wild 2? Is it going to... And then it was like, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. <laughs> like, yeah. Age of oh, the Calamity, DLC, the Age of Calamity. I was like, this is what they're gonna do. This is all they're gonna do. Okay, and so I, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't think Dude, it, I, I don't think Age of Calamity is a good game. Like it's 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 a fine game. It's fine, right? It's a it's a it's a yeah. it's a Dynasty Warriors game. Yeah. But the story that they're telling in that game is so ridiculous and fun, and in, in a way that like Zelda usually isn't. And then the DLC shows Zelda riding a motorcycle. Yeah. Which is so cool. Yeah. Which might be the thumbnail for this episode on YouTube. <laughs> Just because that's so cool. I love that. Uh that I think it's worth playing through. Uh even if you don't care for Dynasty Wars game. If, if you want Zelda story and like a prequel slash time jumping n- not to get into super spoilers for Age of Calamity, but uh if you want that kind of story, uh that game is it does it. So Yeah. I, I wasn't hating. I just thought it would be funny if they ended their direct on DLC for Hilo Warriors and that was it. That was yeah. just the it. They didn't show Breath of the Wild 2. I thought that would have been hilarious. I was like laughing so, in the car. <laughs> we were in the writer's room and I saw the Age of Calamity thing right after they said, we'll hear some Zelda news. I'm like, oh my god, if this is it, like this is hilarious. Like I, yeah. I was kind of being a troll. I'm sorry. I apologize, but like I couldn't help it. I can, feel, I can feel David Lasby's rage right oh, now. Dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. he, he, doesn't he like Cairo Warriors? He loves it's it. It's Dan that doesn't like Cairo Warriors. Yeah. Yeah, Dan yeah, doesn't Dan, like Dan, it. Dan and I, Dan and I are the same, are the same uh, opinion about Cairo Warriors right now. Like, I mean, it's it's not a it's not a great game, and it runs like trash in handheld mode. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah. But the story is good. That's that's what I will give yeah. Hyrule Warriors, and the fact that it's a prequel to Breath of the Wild, I will. Pl- I, I'm struggling to play through it right now because I want that story. <laughs> but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so we're also getting a Game and Watch, I guess, which is neat. Because without you know, the Zelda Game and Watch game, what's up with that? I know. I know. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> like what? They do, but the when you put it when you put it in clock mode, it has the game running in clock mode, but it doesn't. Uh. You can't play it, which is. <laughs> <laughs> um, anybody else oh, have anything man. to say about games from E3? Uh, I thought this ga- this E3 was okay. I think I think Ubisoft had a decent showing. I think Xbox and Nintendo pretty much carried what people thought was yeah. good. Uh, outside of that, so really, it was just Xbox, Nintendo, and the indies, mm-hmm. like Devolver and all the indie showcases. I really liked, but yeah. everything else, I didn't care for. With, yeah, with the the, PC, yeah, the PC gaming show was was freaking awesome. 
there's some great games on there. I, I'm excited. Yeah, there was yeah there was some good stuff on there. With the rumors going around today, EA Play July 22nd, I better see some Dead Space. It's not going to be Dead Space. It's going to be like, I don't know, Ultima Six. I'm not. I'm not keeping my hopes up for for Dead Space. I, I you know, I, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when we get there. Mm. Dead Space. It's man. Dead Space. Everybody wants it's it. Dead Space. Everybody it's wants space. it. Everybody wants I, I, it. I, I, I can't. I can't be but so excited. It's though. gonna be so, Crisis. Like I got to make it, Crisis. Right. Forward. Right. Right. right? No, I, I, no, I, I, they keep remastering. They, they, keep remastering they keep remastering Crisis One, and they're remastering it again. Yeah, EA is actually not again. involved in that, though. Oh, are they? yeah, Crytek. Well, yeah, but they're not even uh, like they're not even pushing forward or anything. Uh-uh. Like, do they not own the rights for it? They don't own the IP. Cry- oh. Crytek does. They're publishing it themselves. They own oh, the yeah. publishing rights to the original games, which is why they're on that EA Play service, but. Uh, these new gotcha. ones are all Crytek. Gotcha. So. All right. Well, this has been another episode of the Boss Rush Podcast. I want to thank everybody for watching and or listening. Remember, you can find all of our shows on our YouTube channel, on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, and your other podcast services of choices. Uh, I want to thank Logan, Jesse, Austin, Laron for joining me tonight. Austin, where can we find you? You can find me at Placed Austin on Twitter. You can find all the other information in the pinned tweet. Jesse? You can find me almost everywhere as Phantom NXS. Logan? At Logan Gorkins. Laron? Social media, Exodus803, E-X-O-D-U-S-803, twitch.tv, uh, twitch.tv slash Exodus803 as well. Austin and I, Tuesday night, we are back for another episode of the Crossroads PlayStation Podcast Show. And uh, yeah, uh, also that uh, Exodus803 is my YouTube handle as well as almost all my gamer tags. So there you go. And you can find me at I am Corey and HG on Twitter. You can find me uh, on Nintendo Pal Block. You can find me on Tower Casuals, Destiny Podcast. Uh, you can find me hopefully returning to arsenal x to uh you know talk about some xbox stuff and uh yeah i think i think that's gonna do it i want to thank everybody for watching and or listening follow us on twitter at boss rush network follow boss rush ent follow boss rush podcast uh like subscribe share rate and review wherever you consume us and until next time we love you goodbye bye take care